gonna do a 1000 hours service maintenance for this 966H. These are the parts. And yep, machine is here. This 966H has the serial number of BG6. I mean, the newer ones which they make a improvement on the control valve before it was a section for all the functions left salt and right control but now it's a one piece block so once you have problem then it's more complicated you're gonna buy the complete uh, MCV now we're gonna do the service, fix some leakage here. Before doing the service, we're gonna do the safety, disconnect the power, put the tight shocks to keep this machine stable, and before performing the job. The right side of the machine where your filters is fitted. You can see here we have transmission filter here. These are your brake accumulators for front and the rear. It's your hydraulic part too. It's pretty good machine. You can work it work on it easily. That's your transmission. Arm is there, okay. To check always your hits, your upper hits, and lower hits. Sometimes when there's so much abuse, the bearing will fail. Lack of greasing. There's your fist points over here. Your pressure tap. Yeah. So transmission touches pressure tap here. One, two, three, four, five, six.
set the change to focus the 1000 hour service yeah after the 1000 hour service completed we bring it here in the grazing bay area to make grazing on all the joints okay here in the cabin uh, I just want to explain something here um, this is your right hand Electro hydraulic control for your hydraulic functions. This one controls your left and down. This is controls your bucket tilt up and tilt down. This is your horn switch here. This is the FNR switch that controls your transmission when you set it to automatic. And this is where your dial is set. In. If you put it in this position, the transmission operation is set to auto and the uh, default gear when you go forward is first gear and the maximum limit for the gear is four but you need to make sure that the manual control over here is set to the maximum which what because that serves as the limit when you when you put the knob into three even though you put your dial position to the setting of one to four you will get only the maximum gear of three the position of your control where you set it in this hand transmission control lever so when you want to use the hand control lever you need to shift that position dial on that manual position and that's all so how to use your downshift switch the same thing when you put your position into O2, then you're gonna use only this FNR switch. So putting your position in 2 to 4 means your default first kick forward gear is second. So if you dig a hard rock, then you need to down gear. So you're gonna only press this downshift switch, then it brings your transmission to the first gear. Hydraulic setup solenoid switch to disable your hydraulic system. Uh, normally, when you embark from the machine, you need to activate this one. So, if somebody came and touched the joystick, then the machine will not move. This cuts the hydraulic pilot solenoid. So, there is no power when this is activated. So, no function will work pretty easy here is your ET connector the service port for your communication over here is your switches and lights this is your parking brake knob you pull it and you activate the parking brake when you activate you're gonna press it down for the monitor yep it's power on the key yes here's your tachometer here's your hydraulic temperature gauge display colon display your fuel and your transmission temperature so pretty much there's an indication there uh, the lower area is your service meter reading the hours of the machine and upper left is your transmission position and in the upper right is your speed yeah over downside is your inching pedal and brake and here is your service brake the primary and here is your accelerator these two pedal works in 
not in the same manner when you activate only this service break then service break will activate without disconnecting the directional clutch of your transmission but when you press this you are disconnecting your or you are reducing the current of your directional clutch solenoid so it's like a clutch but there are two functions on this pedal initial 30% travel will activate your clutch and when you fully depress the pedal this will activate your brake system at the same time you disconnect your directional clutch okay I think that's all for this job behind the seat is your use box so thank you work safe and have a good day bye bye